Hi friends! As I have some extra space to set up a three-story shop, boutique, and salon for our dolls, I have decided to set up a salon and spa first since I've purchased these furniture pieces a while back and they were all hidden away and finally I have a home for them. So today I'd like to give you a tour of what I've done and let's get started. This hardwood floor is actually a clip-on vinyl material, extremely easy to cut and put together. For the color theme, since all the main furniture pieces are in this fuchsia color group, I've decided to use a gray and black background color to give it a modern touch. And so for the paint, I use a real wall color paint. It's something we have actually from home. However, for some reason, the wall on my right hand side did not take the paint at all. So I ended up using a self adhesive marble paper for this side of the wall and style it up more with the extra self-adhesive backsplash and rhinestone stickers. And all these decorative wall stickers here, I got them from Dollar Tree and they're all in one package for a dollar. As well as a gray wall sticker above the mirror. Let's get started with each piece of furniture and accessories here. This piece of furniture here, I got it from the flea market for $2. It came in a light green color and I painted with one coat of black acrylic paint. This boss is just a candle holder and I added some greens and glued it down together. This book and lava lamp are part of the sleepover set from our generation Target. This matching vase is from Dollar Tree as well. And I wanted really fancy mirrors so this photo frame is perfect and I asked my husband to pick it up for me from Walmart so I'm not sure about the price. I made this counter out of a black shoe box, added some compartments with glue and embellish it with rhinestone stickers and the backsplash pieces. I just use this piece for now because what I picture in my mind is a modern, even finished back and sole table with slightly curved silver legs. Until I figure out a way to make it, this piece will definitely will be replaced. At the corner here is a matching fuchsia basket. I'm using this for our dirty towels. This basket came in as a set of three from Dollar Tree. This Our Generation Salon cart set is amazing. It has all the hair salon accessory pieces that a hair stylist ever needed. And this salon chair was the first piece of furniture that I've ever got for my doll and it's from Walmart as well. This convertible couch is my life from Walmart as well. The price was so amazing that I couldn't resist to get it, but I didn't know what room to put it in and finally it works so well in the salon as this guest waiting area. This spa chair is also from my life um, Walmart and the price is affordable as well. These slippers and rug are from our generation bathroom set. They don't go well with our doll's bathroom, but certainly fit the spa chair set perfectly. This lamp works well here as part of my live desk set and the little shelf here is an old crafts box that I got from Dollarama. I painted black again with acrylic paint and added the clear beads at the bottom for a more modern look shelf. For this little nail polish display here, I don't remember where I got it from but again the color blends well and these little nail polishes are super easy to make so if you want a tutorial on how to make these please comment below. I was so happy that I found this extra piece of fringe curtain at home. I attached it on with a hot glue gun and then embellished with the rhinestone stickers just to clean finish it up. And what I'm missing here are the two chandeliers in the storefront design, but definitely we'll add them on later and we'll share the storefront with you when all the units are completed. Thank you so much for stopping by and giving me your feedback. Please leave your comments, give your thumbs up, and press the subscribe button. See you soon!